Hey fellow dashers, it's Dean here again with some advice to hopefully help you have a better dashing experience and hopefully put some more money in your pocket. Uh, today's video is going to be about stacked orders, right? What is a stacked order, the different types of stacked orders, and when you should either accept or decline a stacked order based on a set of criteria. So for you new people out here, uh, a stacked order basically is any time you get two orders from DoorDash, right? So you can either uh, get those two orders for a single pickup location, like a single restaurant, and getting two orders to be delivered to two separate customers, or you can get a stacked order from two separate locations going to two customers. And in either case, those customers are going to be relatively in the same neighborhood, same location. So that's what a stacked order is, it just means two orders. Now, there are basically three different types of stacked orders. There's really two different types, but I'm gonna include a third one because it's something that I've been seeing quite often uh, as I go out and dash. So the first type of stacked order is gonna be where you receive two orders at the same time. So when the offer comes in, whether it's gonna to be to a single uh, pickup location, like a single restaurant or to two different restaurants, but that offer is gonna come in at the same time. Right, so that's going to be the first type of stacked order. The second type of stacked order is when you are already on a single pickup and delivery, you've already accepted an order, and while you're on the way to the restaurant or you're already at the restaurant, DoorDash offers you a second order either at that same location that you're at or a nearby location where it wants you to pick up a second order, right? So that's the second type of stacked order. The third one really isn't a stacked order, but I'm gonna include it because it's been something that's happening lately, and I'm just gonna throw it in here. And that's when you are on a single delivery, you do a pickup, you're on your way to the customer to make the drop off, and DoorDash is now sending you offers before you're even finished with the one that you're on, right? So that's something that I've been seeing more and more with DoorDash, so we're gonna talk about that too. Uh, I'm going to be using, I have my set of notes, right? So just so you guys know, I'm going to make this document available. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can download this in a PDF format. This way you don't have to memorize everything I'm saying. Uh, the whole outline of everything in this video will be uh, in that document. So you can see that below and you can go ahead and download that whenever you get a chance after you watch this video. Um, okay, so what I've done was I broke down everything into five scenarios, right? So each of the five scenarios will have reasons to decline that stacked order. And if none of those uh, decline reasons are present, then you can go ahead and accept that order. We're going to start with the easiest ones to accept down to the ones that are a little more complicated that require a little more thought process uh, when you receive that order. Okay, so let's talk about that stuff right now. Okay, so we're gonna start with scenario number one, which is the simplest, and that's when you receive a single offer to pick up two orders from one location. So let's say uh, Los Cabos, there'll be two orders to pick up at the same time from that one location. You would want to accept that offer if the following decline reasons are not present. The first one, and that's gonna be, this is gonna be true for all of these, is if the payout doesn't meet your threshold for what you expect from a delivery. So, you know, a lot of people have, uh, they won't take anything less than a dollar a mile or a dollar 25 or a dollar 50 a mile. So that's gonna be up to you. So the first and foremost is when you looked at that stacked order and you see the total number of miles that that offer has the amount that you would, would be acceptable for you to take the order in the first place. Okay, so that's gonna be true for all these. The second reason that you might want to decline an order is when the two drop-off locations are far apart. Uh, they're never going to be that far apart, but they certainly could be three, three and a half miles apart, right? So if you have a, an offer to pick up two orders and the two locations are far apart from each other, either east, west, north, south, but are considerably far apart from each other, I would decline that order because by the time you get to the first one and make the drop off, the second one is already gonna be close to being late as it is, you know? So, so you really wanna make sure that when you get that offer to pick up two orders, look at the map and you'll see where those two locations are. If they're relatively close, then that's fine. You can go ahead and accept that order. A third reason to decline 
would be is if one of the locations, one of the drop-off locations is in an apartment complex, right? So I've had orders, uh, stacked orders, where I pick up from a single uh, restaurant and I notice on the map, right, be or before I even accept the order, I notice on the map that one of the locations is inside of an apartment complex. Why? Because I know where all the apartments are, right? So when I see it on the map, I know what it's going to be. The problem with that is that if the first location is the apartment complex, then you have to usually go off the main road through a gate. So you have to wait till the gate opens. You have to get to the building. Some, some complexes have a lot of buildings there. So there's a lot of driving through the parking lot. You get to the customer's building. You may have to go to the third floor. Then you come back down, get in your car. You have to drive through the complex again, go wait for the gate to open and then get back on the main road. By the time you do that, the second order is going to be late already, right? So whenever I see a stacked order from a single location, and one of the drop-offs is an apartment complex, I will decline that order because ultimately one of this, the second one, if the apartment complex is first, the second one is gonna be late. Now, if it's reversed, if the first drop-off location is at a house and it's not too far off the beaten path and the second location is in an apartment complex, that would be okay. That order you can accept. Uh, the second scenario is when you get a stacked order up front and the two orders are from two different locations, right? So you have two pickup restaurants. Uh, so you're gonna get a stacked order up front for two different locations, right? So just like the first scenario, you would decline this type of order if the payout threshold doesn't meet your standards. So whatever you get for per mile, what you're comfortable with. So like the first scenario, that's first. Look at the money, is it worth it to you? If not, decline it, okay? Uh, the second one would be when the pickup locations are far away from each other, right? So sometimes you have, like where I am, where I dash, a lot of restaurants are right on top of each other. So I may get a stacked order from two restaurants that are right across the street from each other, right? And so right off the bat, that's, that's better. But there are some times where I get an offer to pick up from two restaurants and they are a mile and a half apart. That would be, you know, as, my, as I'm looking at this scenario, two different restaurants, where are they, how far apart, how long will it take, you know, are there lights in between? So that's kind of something I look at and I make a decision whether to accept or decline on that, right? And the third thing is going to be when the delivery locations are far apart as well. So you have to pick up from two separate restaurants and just like the first scenario, if the two locations are far apart, you want to decline that order just like you would in the first scenario. Uh, the fourth reason to decline would be when the first delivery location is in an apartment complex, just like we talked about in the first scenario. So again, whether it's from the same restaurant or two different restaurants, that's going to apply as well. Uh, I, would I would not take any stacked order where one of them is inside of an apartment complex and that is the first delivery in the chain. Okay. Uh, the fifth reason to decline is when one or both of those restaurants are known, like you've done this long enough and you know one of those restaurants or both are the type of restaurants where you're going to wait five or 10 minutes, right? You know which restaurants are the ones that you can pick up the quickest. Like I have, there's a few here like Oklahoma Joe's that when I get that order, I show up, it's ready to go or it's like 30 seconds ready to go. And then there are some other restaurants like one of my favorites, which is Los Cabos. I'm going to wait, right? The pickup time is always going to be, you know, eight, nine, 10 minutes ahead of when I get that. So I know that I'm going to be waiting there for that order. So if you get a stacked order that contains two different restaurants and one of them you know is going to take a while, decline it, right? Because either whether it's the first one or the second one, one of those, the one that makes you wait, is going to cause a delay in the second one, right? So the second person is going to be waiting for the first person's order to get done and cooked and, you know, at a restaurant that takes a long time. So uh, again, I, I would just decline that if one of those I know is, is one of those restaurants that take a long time to pick up from. And the sixth reason you would want to decline an order from two different places is if one of those places is a supermarket. So I will see a stacked order for two different locations. One of them is Reezer's, which is a supermarket. And the other one is from, you know, Firehouse Subs, which is a restaurant where you get sandwiches. So. I would be expected to go to Reezer's and wait for them to stick 25 bags in my trunk, which is going to take a while. And then they expect me to go to a restaurant and pick up that. I never, I would never accept 
uh, a stacked order for two different locations when one of the locations is going to be a supermarket and also if it's going to be like a, um, a red card type of order like CVS or Walgreens where you're expected to go shopping for the items and then check out. So you don't want to take any stacked order that is from two different places. One of them is going to be a CVS or a Walgreens, right? Because that's going to take you a long time to go shopping and get that done. So, okay, so now we have scenario number three. Scenario number three is when you receive a single offer and you are on your way to go pick up the food from that restaurant or that location and DoorDash offers you a second order from that same pickup location, right? Usually you would get that as you were driving to the location or it could be while you're there waiting, right? So you could have gotten the first offer, you're waiting at the restaurant for the order and DoorDash sends you another order for that same location, okay? So the reasons why you would decline an order like this, first, uh, when the second order payout is very low, Right, so let's say you've just taken an order and the guaranteed base rate for that order is let's say 675 and suddenly they throw another order at you and it's for 225, right? A low paying second order. So I would usually decline an order that has a second offer that comes in with a very low payout unless the second delivery location is literally right next to the first delivery location, right? So if I get a second delivery, if, if I get a second offer and it has a very low payout, let's say like 225, and I notice on the map that it's two miles apart, three miles apart from the first one, I won't take it. Not enough money, right, to drive across. But I've done orders where I got that second offer uh, for a second delivery location that is literally around the corner from the first one. So that I'll do, even if it's a low payout, because I'm already there, right? I'm already in that neighborhood. And if it's right around the corner, I'm getting an extra two bucks to drive 60 seconds around the corner. So then I'll take it. But if it's far apart and it has a low payout, I won't take it. I'll decline that stacked order. Uh, and then um, when the delivery locations are far apart, same rules apply. Uh, if you get that second order that comes in while you're at the restaurant or on the way and the delivery locations are really far apart, I'll just automatically decline it. It's too far away. Okay, and then the third reason to decline this type of order is when the first delivery location is an apartment complex, just like we talked about before. Um, and here's a big one, right? Whenever, you, whenever the scenario is when you're on your way to the restaurant, you get to the restaurant, you, are, you have been waiting for that first order, right? You know that it's almost ready. Let's say the pickup time is coming up. They told you it's going to be five minutes. Five minutes has passed. You know that order's coming out. And suddenly DoorDash throws an order at you to pick up another order from that location. Decline it, right? Because what's going to happen is they're going to come out and bring you the bag for the first order. And then you're going to wait five or ten minutes for the second order. So if you just get that offer right when you're ready to pick up the order that you've been on in the first place, that first order is going to get cold. It's going to be waiting for the second order, right? So don't do it. If if it's right at the time you're about to pick up that, that first order, don't take the second order. Just don't. Decline that. And if none of these decline reasons are there, you can go ahead and accept the offer. Okay. Okay, so let's, let's talk about scenario number four. Scenario number four is when you get a second offer after you've already accepted an offer and it's for a separate delivery or a separate pickup location, right? So sort of like scenario number two is it's going to be two different pickup locations, except this, this time you've gotten it while you were on the way to the first location or if you're already at the first location. This is going to be probably the most convoluted, complicated thing to figure out, right? This is going to be the more difficult stacked orders that you're going to have to really look at and make a decision. So the first reason to decline it, we're going to go over these, is when the second order payout is very low, just like we talked about before, unless the drop-off location is right around the corner from the first drop-off. Same thing applies. Uh, when the pickup locations are far away from each other, just like the first couple, when the second pickup location is in the opposite direction of the first drop-off location, right? So let's say you're, you're on your way or you're at the first restaurant where you're going to do the first pickup, and then you get an offer to do a pickup from a second location, from a second restaurant, except that second restaurant is in the opposite direction of where the drop-off is from your first order. So let's say you have a restaurant here, the drop-off for that is here, 
but then the pickup is over here for the second one. So in order to pick up the second order, you have to go in the opposite direction of where you were gonna go to drop off the first one. So that I would decline, right? It's too far out of the way. Now you could accept that order if the pickup location is on the way to the first drop off location, right? So let's say I'm at the first restaurant and I'm picking up an order and it's about to be done and I'm going north, you know, three miles. And then I get a second offer to pick up another order and it's on the way to that first order delivery location. That would be okay, right? So I'm going to go over that exact scenario because that's going to be a tricky one, right? So let's go over uh, decline reason number uh, five for this. Same thing as the, the rest of them. If one of them is in an apartment complex, uh, six, when one of the one or both of the restaurants are known to have a long wait time. So you want to decline that. Uh, the same thing like the last scenarios when one of the pickups lo pickup locations is a supermarket or a CVS or a Walgreens and it's mixed together with a restaurant, decline it, it's going to take too long. Okay, now here is the tricky one, right? So this is going to be what I was just talking about for decline reason number eight, okay? It's when the second offer comes in right when you're about to leave to go to the first drop-off location, right? So you're about to pick up the first order and then you get an offer to pick up a second one, right? So the second one has to be, in order to accept that, the second one has to be on the way to the first drop-off location and is not a restaurant that would make you wait, right? So after you pick up the first order, you're on your way, you said, okay, I'll, maybe I'll stop by this other restaurant since it's on the way. But if you know that restaurant's gonna make you wait, don't take it. Because again, it's gonna delay you dropping off of the first one. And the second drop-off location has to be relatively close to the first drop-off location, right? So you don't want to take a second order from a different location, even if it's on the way to the first drop-off, if the second drop-off is in a totally different direction, right? It could be north-south, you know, like they're totally in the opposite directions from each other. So the two drop-off locations have to be in the same location, right? So that would be the only way that I would do that. Um, it's very rare that I will be sitting at a restaurant waiting for an order where I get a second offer to pick up from another place. It's very rare that I accept those. It's got to be a really, you know, everything's got to fit just right. It has to be a restaurant that is a, a very fast pickup time. It's got to be on the way to the customer. It's got to be where the customers live in the, relatively the same area. So it's very, it's going to be very rare that I take those type of orders. Um, and then scenario number five, which is kind of an odd one. It's not a stacked order thing, but it's when you get an offer while you're on the way to delivering you know, you're, you're on a, an order pickup, you pick up the order, you're on the way to the customer and suddenly DoorDash is making you offers to do another pickup before you're even finished with the one that you're on. So this is fairly new. I've seen this over the last couple of months. I don't know when they started doing this or why, um, but I've gotten a bunch of these where I'm driving to the location and suddenly an order pops up. Now there's pros and cons to that. The con right off the bat is that if I'm following the map and I'm trying to get to a location, suddenly this offer comes up and it blocks the map, you know, the map is gone and I have to sit there and start pressing buttons and look at, I have to look at the order to see if I want to take it and all that while I'm already driving, trying to look at the map to go to the first location, right? So that's the bad part about that. I don't know why they thought, they thought that was a good idea. The good part about it though, is if it's an acceptable offer, like if it's a really good order and you're on your way to drop off this other one, then you are setting yourself up to have zero wait time, right? So if it's a good order and you know you want to take it, you go right from the first drop off, you're going right to the second, you know, you're going right to that next order without having to wait for an order to come in. So it's ready to go right there. So that's the pro of that. But there's going to be uh, basically three reasons why you would want to decline an offer while you're in progress to the first order, okay? Uh, one, first and foremost, is when the payout doesn't meet your standards, just like everything else. So if you look at that offer while you're driving to that customer's house and it's not doesn't pay well then decline it right just like you would any other order um, when the pickup location is far away from the current drop-off location right so if you're if you're a mile away going north to, to the drop-off location and the next pickup is three miles south 
you're never going to make it in time. So you have to go all the way to the customer, drop off, and then go. Now you got to go four miles back uh, to the restaurant to do the pickup, right? So you don't want to you don't want to take the order if the pickup location for that next order is too far away. And uh, the third reason you would want to decline an offer while you're in progress is if you're not even close, right? I've gotten offers where I'll be at a restaurant. I just picked it up. I got in my car. I'm already getting another offer you know, for the next pickup, I haven't even started on the way to the first place yet. So then I'll decline that, but I'll give you a scenario. And this is where I accepted one of these orders. So I was delivering to a location. I was literally 60 seconds away from that neighborhood. I, I, you know, it was an easy drop off right off the main road. And right as I passed, it's called Casey's, which is a, a gas station, but they also sell food. Right as I made the turn, I was passing Casey's. I got an order for Casey's, right? And it was a good order, it was good money, and it was relatively close. I knew that my next, that the delivery location I was going to was only around the corner and that I would be able to get that dropped off and back to Casey's in just a matter of minutes. So I took that type of order, right? But, you know, that would have to be the scenario in order to accept an offer while you're in progress on a current order, right? Otherwise, you know, again, those three scenarios just decline that type of order. Okay, so those are the five scenarios having to do with stacked orders. Uh, a couple of things I want you to keep in mind when you're looking at a stacked order and you're making a decision, right? So I have these listed out here. Uh, when you take a stacked order, I don't know if you guys know this, when you take a stacked order, DoorDash is going to reduce the base pay by 50 cents per order, right? So let's say the base pay was 250 on one, 250 on the other. When you do a stacked order, they lower the base rate to $2 and $2. Why they do that? I have no idea. It's almost like they have this, this idea that they're making things easier. If you look, we're giving you a gift or we're giving you two orders to do it once. So you're going to make more money when in reality, a stacked order is more difficult to deal with. People know that it gets very confusing. It's very frustrating sometimes, especially when you're worried about the first order and the second order is late. And, you know, so to me, they should actually be giving you more money for the base rate than rather than taking away. But that's something to keep in mind. They're going to lower the base rate by 50 cents per order. Uh, second thing that I want to let you guys know, when you're doing a stacked order, always keep the customer in mind, right? Uh, your first response is, ooh, stacked order, I'm going to make more money. You have to think about the customer. Think about whether one of those customers is going to get screwed in the process of you taking this stacked order because their food's going to be really late or it's going to get cold. Always keep the customer in mind, right? You should always keep the customer in mind when you're dealing with a stacked order. If either one of those customers is gonna get screwed by you accepting the stacked order, don't do it, decline it, right? Really try to keep the customer in mind, okay? Uh, three, only take stacked orders when you know that you'll be able to deliver both of them on time. There are some stacked orders, when you look at it, you know you're never gonna make it. You know one of them is gonna be late. If that's the case, decline it. Make sure that you're comfortable with the idea that if you take a stacked order, you can get to both people on time, plenty of time, right? And the fourth thing you wanna remember when you're taking a stacked order is that you really wanna to try to communicate with the second drop off location, right? You have to know, and you, some of you guys may not know this, but the customer can actually see where you are on the map, right? After they place the order and you're the guy and you accept the order, from now on, they can actually see when you get to the restaurant, they're looking at a map. They know where you're going. They can see you on the road. They can see when you're on the way to them, right? If you don't tell them that you're doing another order, they're going to wonder why you're veering off the road, going in a different direction. They may not like that. They may not know what the hell you're doing. They may think you're going home first, you know, whatever it is. So you want to let them know. So, so when you're doing a stacked order, whichever the second customer might be, which you won't know until you until you pick up both orders, immediately go to that second customer, hit the chat button, say, hey, you know, this is Dean, your DoorDash driver. Uh, I'm currently on my way to you right now. Uh, just to let you know, I have a, uh, I have an order that I have to drop off to a customer that is on the way to you. And so I will be an extra minute or so to get to you, right? Something like that. Anytime I say that, I say, you know what, I just have to drop off this other order. It's on the way to you, so it'll take me an extra minute to get to you. Always, they go, that's fine, no problems, drive safe. But if you don't say anything, they're gonna wonder why you're in somewhere else. And that could garner you some bad reviews. 
uh, that could be a problematic. They may just get upset just because they're just seeing you go somewhere else, right? So really try to communicate with the customer. Doing stacked orders takes a little bit of finesse, right? When you first start out, people will take stacked orders just because they think it's a good idea and they can make more money. When in reality, there are times where you take a stacked order and you're gonna screw yourself, right? You're gonna end up making less money than if you would have just taken a two single orders separately. So, but once you get used to doing this and once you get more experience, you'll figure out just by looking at the offer and the map whether or not you should take a, a stacked order, okay? So just be confident knowing that you will learn this soon enough, right, if you do this long enough. All right, so hopefully this uh, information was helpful to you guys. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And if you have any topics that you'd like to hear me talk about or any kind of advice or any, any questions that you have, you could always leave it in the comments section. I read every single comment that comes in, okay? So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, have a great dashing experience. Talk to you later. Bye.